G'day guys, um, I'm just doing a quick video on my Lexus LS430, it's a 2000 model but 01 to 03 is all the same. Uh, if you've just replaced the engine ECU, the one in the engine, front of the engine, engine bay, uh, you need to recalibrate the, the ECU to the car's security module, otherwise it just throws an engine immobiliser check code. So what you do, get a wire, however long, or, a, or even a paper clip, and um, you jam it in the OBD port. Oh, if you can see that, yeah, there we go. Ugh. So, not all the pins are populated, as you can very well see, but you want pin 5 of the top, which is that first one that's populated, and then number 13, which is directly underneath it. Now, this, uh, this, that one only works on... Yeah, you've got to bridge those out. That only works on LS430s. I don't know if it works on the later ones, it probably does, but on ISs it's um, pin 4 and 13, so don't get those mixed up, but you can't get pin 4 on there anyway because it's not populated. So you leave the jumper in there, you put the jumper in, turn the key on and it'll go into diagnostic mode, and then you leave that for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, thereabouts. Go 45 minutes to be safe, turn the key off, pull the jumper out, fire it, and then you fire it up. It, it, it works. It should work, but it does work, because I just tried it. Just like that. Now, I put a new ECU in because I had a oddball knock sensor yeah, don't mind that check engine light. That's for a connector in the engine bay. I've got to cut the plug off and rejoin. Because um, I had a knock sensor fault code that just could, would, would not go away no matter what I did, changing knock sensors and everything. And it had an additional knock uh, code that went with it, input signal area. I don't know what that code, I can't remember what that code was, but, but yeah, it would have just go straight into limp mode at 80 kilometers an hour not all it's not all the time though sometimes it would run mint for where until wherever you're going and then it'll do it again so I that's why I think it was the ECU because I got it really really hot because there's a design flaw well oh okay I wouldn't call it a design flaw but that hose there goes there's a cold air, well, supposed to be a cold air feed for the ECU. Well, I did burnouts in it, didn't I? And um, pegged the needle into the, into the red and, yeah, cooked it. So, I, I, pulled, the, I pulled the ECU apart. Well, pulled it out, pulled, opened it up. I haven't... Yeah. That's what they look like. That's what an, a pre facelift ECU looks like. But yeah, I can't see anything. No, I can't see any shit stains or anything. No blown caps or anything. So maybe a transistor's gone. I don't know. Oh. Ah, now I can't get it back in. Oh, you get the point. So yeah, thanks for watching.